Okay, Justin, you want to just grab that and pull it over there a little bit? Thank you. Let me straighten that up over there. Okay, how's it looking? Good. Pretty good? Roy okay. Rosmus has been keeping the Christmas spirit alive for the past 12 years by assembling a holiday wonderland in his basement. inspired me to do all this was Eaton's in the old days when I was a kid we all had a chance to go I think it was the eighth or ninth floor I don't remember but the whole floor was a like this personified a thousand times and I got to thinking you know my grandchildren and some of my friends kids will never get a chance to see that so I thought you know what I'm going to start putting something like that together best way I know how I mean I know I couldn't do it the way Eaton's did it and I started and I kept going and I kept going and what you've seen here today is a culmination of all the time that I've put into this over the years. Roy does much more than just put up a few decorations. From what it started was one table with a few things and I kept going and kept going and now I don't know if you can tell but the whole basement I got no place to put anything. Okay Justin, you know, sorry, Frosty the Snowman's going to sing, you love him, you push the button and let's hear him. I would say altogether maybe 300 pieces. I start putting together in roughly the beginning of October and usually till the middle of November or sometimes it could be a little bit later depending on what I want to do because I try and change it up every year just a little bit. Okay Justin, something new this year, have a look. Isn't that cool? Yeah. a boy, yeah. We're going down to Santa's workshop and this, this of course is new. You like yeah. that? Yeah. And the penguin up there. Yeah. All kinds of lights, okay. Santa's waiting for us, let's go. These are just new, but they've sort of become my favorites uh, over the last couple years for these. And uh, the little bear that uh, recites uh, the night before Christmas is one of my favorite. My favorite part was the Santa's workshop. Ta-da! <laughs> hey, what do you think of it this year? Good. Yeah, it's kind of cool, isn't it? It's the most time of the year. I feel happy when I see this and I feel joyful. It's very really cool when Santa moves and it's just great to see it. While only friends and family can visit Roy's enchanted basement, you can still see the original Eaton's fairy tale vignettes at the Children's Museum at the Forks. They were on display for 30 years in the ninth floor annex at the Eaton's building downtown where they were enjoyed by families for generations. They came to us in 1999 uh, when Eaton's was closing. There was a community group that wanted to see them preserved and displayed for the next generation of children and families in Winnipeg to enjoy. This is my favorite one because I like it. The beauty of the vignettes is their multi-generational appeal, that there are people for whom the vignettes have only ever existed at the Children's Museum, our youngest visitors who are being introduced to them for the first time. And then you have grandparents and parents who worked at Eaton's, who took their photos with Santa at Eaton's. So you have this really broad um, experience that you can share with your parents, grandparents, children, grandchildren. I like all of them. I took my photos with Santa growing up here, so I have my own connection to these vignettes. They're um, they really are magical in their simple, beautiful way that you can tap into all of this history just by pushing a button. It is really special for me to have the opportunity to work on this exhibit and have it um, in my workplace now as something that I can share with other families um, and seeing kids come in and enjoy that magical experience that I did growing up is something that's um, a, really, a really beautiful sort of full circle moment for me. The Eden's fairy tale vignettes are on display at the Children's Museum until January 4th. For Switch, I'm Tony Guerrero.